time. Um, and uh, we're going to get going on this. Um, thanks, everyone. Um, I'm sure we'll have more people join as, as we go. We've got quite a few people interested in these sessions. Uh, I have all of these sessions um, on the Internet. You can go look at them any time and download the sessions and look at the videos, and I'll upload the videos a little bit later um, after, this, after this recording. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get into the slides. Um, and uh, start the uh, slide presentation and kind of get through what Modic is. Um, first of all, yeah. Um, you got a question? You can't. We have a question? Okay. Um, so here's the agenda. We're going to talk about the cause and the mission of these training sessions. What is Modic and why do we do inbound marketing? We're going to do the next steps. I'm going to show you how to show up. Uh, how to set up the uh, Modic um, uh, pixel inside your websites, do a demo, and then we'll do have some questions uh, and answers. Um, so let's make sure we understand why I'm doing this. I, I'm, I'm doing this, and hopefully all of us will be doing this for this reason, to increase the awareness of Archibus throughout the world. I, we're all in, in the wonderful tribe of Archibus. We love Archibus. Uh, we want that name be pushed out there uh, and be able to help the world understand that they've got choices other than the ones that are being extremely sold um, and that we can start to be that force that helps uh, Archibus uh, uh, become a great company. Um, to collaborate our efforts to increase the traffic to our individual websites, that's kind of key to the whole social media thing. It needs to drive back to your website and Archibus website uh, for the purpose of increasing sales. Um, if you have any thoughts on those causes or mission statements, email me, let me know, and we can make some adjustments. Um, so what is Modic? Well, Modic is a, it's a marketing tool. It um, com competes with HubSpot, uh, Partit, or Silverpop. Uh, and here's the URL if you want to read that um, article. Uh, and... Um, so what is inbound marketing um, and why do we do inbound marketing? Um, inbound marketing is amazing. Um, I started Modic about five, six months ago, and it opened my eyes to sales. I had no clue the industries that were hitting my website. I was going after high tech. I was doing uh, local um, government and I found out very quickly through Modic that about 30% of my traffic to my website were universities. And I had no idea, and I wasn't even marketing to universities. But that was a segment that's out there looking for it. Um, so that's what's inbound marketing. Anybody have any questions on inbound marketing? <laughs> okay. There's the article as well. You can, and, again, this is on, on, on the website, so you can go ahead and, uh, and uh, look, look this up. Um, so what are your next steps? Well, you have to choose an inbound software. You either choose Modic, HubSpot, Partit, Silverpop. Um, there's a whole host of other ones. The next thing you do is you sign up or install. Uh, and, and in Modic, there's three choices. You can do a local install, which I recommend it and, I, and I've done. Um, or you do a free cloud, um, which is limited, but it is pretty powerful. There's a lot of features there. Um, or you can buy it uh, from Modic at $500 a month of cloud offering. Uh, it starts at 500. It probably goes up there ex exponentially from there. Um, but the free one's been wonderful for us. Um, and then you place uh, this pixel on your website. It's a single track tracking image. You don't even see it, and it's very very simple code. So again, here's your three choices. We recommend that you download it, install it. We use what's called WAMP or LAMP. Um, for those of you who may not be familiar uh, with WAMP or LAMP, um, WAMP stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP. And there's bundles. You can literally just install the bundle that does all four of those. Well, you, ha you either have to have your operating system up first, but it'll install the um, AMP port portion of those two things. Um, uh, if you set up if you sign up for the free account, which is the one in the middle, that's already set up. And but it has limited records. I think you can only do something like 5,000 emails a month or something like that. Um, 
and then the sign up five uh, you know it, it, the pros of signing up for 500 again you don't have to install WAMP or LAMP um, but your cost will probably your cost will probably increase as you do more activities and you'll want to do more um, so how does this work well you basically place in the head of your website um, a script and um, you know, once that script is in there, Modic will start tracking it. And what it, what it tracks is the IP address and the um, location of anybody who hits that web that web page, and it actually stores it in the database, and you can report on it. Um, the other thing you want to do for tracking purposes is since I have my script on every single web page on my website, uh, I have to I make sure that the titles in my web pages are unique so I can see who has um, which pages are being hit and which ones are being used so the two things put this JavaScript in and uh, put this in the head of the uh, uh, make sure your title is unique um, so let's go ahead and look at Modic so um, here's my Modic I'm minimize this a little bit and uh, I track quite a few things. So um, right here uh, are my web page hits. I'm hitting around 60 to 80 in a week uh, per day. And um, the one I really like is the dwell time. Uh, over 10 minutes is 15% of the people who hit my website stay on it for over 10 minutes. Uh, under five. Things like this. Okay. And then... I sent out an email campaign last night, so you're going to see that I sent out over 400 emails from Modic last night. Um, I didn't. I just set it up, and the campaign campaign shot them out. Um, the next thing is is that what I always look at is the contacts. So you can see that I sent this out to California State University system, and um, all these individuals hit my site last night. Most of them unsubscribed, which is fine, uh, but um, not most of them, I should say. What you see are the ones that have unsubscribed. It's about 30 out of five out of 420. Um, and then the other one is is that uh, um, uh, let's see. Let me take it to a to a list format. I can go ahead and take a look at the ones that um, are unidentified uh, individuals. So people who we know their IP address, we know their location, but we don't know um, their name. And we can go ahead and take a look at, at them and find out um, information. And the way I go about that is very simple. Is I come in here and I'll, I'll grab uh, this IP address. And it's probably somebody who's on this phone. It could be um, because I can see that they hit my lesson two. Uh, but they've also been looking around here. And all I do is I basically take my IP address. I go to what's uh, who is. I put the IP address in. And as I put the IP address in, it tells me it came from Verizon, so I don't, I don't really know much about it. But then I grab the uh, lat long, and when I grab the lat long, I can go into Google and do a little bit of magic here. It's in backwards, so I have to um, put it in this way, and it'll it'll hone into about the location of where the internet provider sent the information. So I get a little um, thing here. Sometimes I, I can find out that it's right in the middle of a university or a college. But um, So now I, I have some idea of where this came from. And um, so uh, very good. All right, so let me show you some um, um, other information. So uh, basically on my web pages... Um, so, for example, I put up uh, uh, something about J uh, the Archibus's Ar Infinaris uh, uh, Archibus TV video. Um, so, in the title, I put in case study of Infinaris Archibus video so I can find a unique hit on that. And you don't see that JavaScript that I, um, that I taught. So that's because I do what's called a dry programming. And I have a header that's included. So let me open up the header and show you where that um, piece of information is found. So if I come down here to my 
header. Um, you can see that I have Google Analytics as well. And this right here is a script that's placed in my website. It either needs to go on every page or you need to include it through JavaScript. And this is the URL to my modic installation. I have a, a VM uh, that's set up with a, a LAMP, and uh, that's the URL that, that I've placed in there. Um, all right, so it's literally that simple. And I, I, it attracts every single web page on my site. Um, so with that, um, do we have questions about Modic and what it is and um, how to use it? I'm opening it up to the, to the group. And I'm sorry if this is a silly question. And you said you you created Modic, or no? I did not create Modic. It's a free software. You can download it. Um, okay. uh, yeah, it, it's a competitor to HubSpot. I did not create Modic. No, absolutely not. Okay. Thank you. You bet. No problem. Anyone else? What's the uh, um, so I need to say that this is not where I would have started, but this was the popular request last week. So people asked me to show Modic this week. Um, so if there's no questions, then I'm going to dive deep. Um, by the way, on, on here I have some useful links. You can download Modic software here. You can sign up for Modic at this hyperlink. Here are those articles that I was talking about, and I highly recommend Notepad++ as an editor. So um, uh, you can download those and get, get to those. So let's dive into Modic just a little bit deeper then. So um, as I've been tracking these IP addresses, I have over 2,000 contacts in here now. Um, I add information in here about um, each of these uh, con uh, com companies that have hit my website. <clears throat> so let me just show you a little bit of information about this. And what I really like about it is that uh, you can put in the name and the email address, and you can get the local information. But you can also hit the professional side of it, which is really nice. You can put in number of employees, uh, revenue, and what sector it's in. And I usually track the sector um, so that when I go ahead and do a campaign, uh, I know what types of individuals I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going after. Um, segments. Um, I did not do segments to begin with, but I find segments to be very good. Basically, they're filtering your contact list by a certain set of um, criteria. So this very first one are my expatriates, which are clients that have um, uh, are no longer my clients, and I and I do want to market to them. Yeah, question? I'm sorry, you're dropping out a little bit. I don't know if it was just my phone or if anybody else experienced that. Okay, um, what did you? Uh, you obviously you don't know what I didn't say, but where would you like me to back up into companies or just uh, no just like a, a 10 seconds ago you uh, is where I lost okay so probably at segments um, right so segments are a way to filter your contacts so that when you do a campaign uh, you're, you're sending your focused messages to uh, individuals so Monic does outbound as well as inbound and I actually recommend doing this um, so, for example, um, uh, let's say that um, I have some contacts that are in Arizona. And so basically um, all I did was come in here and go, look, if any, any of my contacts have a state that equals Arizona, put them in this segment. And so when I go ahead and do a campaign, I can say filter this campaign by segment Arizona. And then everybody in Arizona will get these emails or outbound marketing. Um, so that's segments. Components um, are, are, are pieces of information that um, uh, and their assets, forms, and landing pages are the ones that I use. Um, assets are 
downloadable assets. So one of the things you want to do on the contact is you want to capture the contact information. And all of us have been to websites where it says, hey, if you want to download this article, please put in your email address. Well, that's because they're doing <clears throat> a tracking system like either Modic or HubSpot. And so um, they have, um, you know, these are the uh, these are the uh, assets or PDF files or pictures or whatever I'm going to allow them to download that I have uploaded in the assets. And it's actually captured and stored up on the Modic server. And um, to get it, it tracks it. So, for example, my painted picture um, has been downloaded 24 times since I put it up. My next one is an educational uh, download from Arquus has been downloaded 20 times, and I can I can actually pop in there and see who's done what. Forms are um, those little forms where you fill in your email address or your um, um, contact information. And so this is my standard schedule of compensations, but I also have uh, other pieces of information like all of the Arquebus, um PDFs. Um, I can pull down like the asset management PDF, and uh, it has a form to be able to pull that down or a button. And then I have what are called landing pages, and these are unique pages that talk about certain types of information. So, for example, if I want to talk about lease management, I have a landing page around that with keywords. Then if you're searching, you know, Archibus and lease management, and those keywords are on my website, and you're, you're pushing my website, that's a landing page where I have some communication, and Modic will track that, how many times people hit that landing page. Um, and so, for example, uh, the, the, the big one on this one is I, I've had my energy site hit 14 times over the last couple months. Um, and so that's, uh, you know, that's what those are. Campaigns are um, outbound emails. And um, so I'm doing a, 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 a did you know series. And um, I basically will uh, send an email out to my contact list going, did you know that Archibus does energy management? And then here's the little button where they can go to my landing page, and I can capture the contact information, and I can download information. Uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's a very, very nice feature. I really like the campaigns. Um, the, the Chancellor's Office was the one I sent out last night. Uh, channels are things like marketing messages. I, I usually use mostly emails. And uh, the emails um, are configurable. And um, so let me show you the, uh, let me see, let's do, yeah, I'll have you take a look at the, uh, uh, let's do, look, let's look at the portal. So um, basically when I come in and edit my email, um, I have themes and you can create your own themes. These are my themes that I have uploaded, these blue ones are mine. Um, and basically, here's the subject that's going to be uh, in the email. Uh, subject, you know, did you know Archibus has an asset portal? And um, I can pick an unsubscribe form, which is required for uh, marketing, uh, email marketing. And then in there, um, I can now do what's called a builder. And this is this is the email that you're going to see when you send when you send it. And these this right here has a hyperlink to my landing page as well as this picture. Here's my view this in a browser. Contact me through email or unsubscribe. And just a little bit. And um, so I try to keep it simple. I try to make it so you can, it's catchy and not a lot of information, um, but just enough to ask a question and get people to be interested in coming to my website. Questions on um, the email builder? Okay. Um, and then the last one I'm going to go to are stages. Uh, you can do points. I'm not into points yet, but basically activities of individuals you can track and give them a point, and then you can start to determine whether you should focus on an individual or not. I use stages. Stages are really good for me to understand at what level these contacts are at so zeros are basically introductory like I'm either emailing them or I've got a list uh, or they're people I'm associated with 
one is a subscriber in other words they've dropped information onto my website and I've captured them or this is a bona fide lead a marketing qualified lead sales lead opportunity customer someone who is an evangelist is like my client who just lo loves me and then I have an, an older one that was uh, an RSC client this is a quick overview of Modic um, I have some other areas I could go into and get pretty pretty deep in it but um, I find this to be a very, very powerful site, and, uh, and I'm finding that my presence is actually increasing because I'm using uh, Modic. Um, and you probably have seen my social media posts that I'm putting out on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, and other areas. And again, it's all because I'm trying to drive the Archivist name and trying to get out there. So um, I'd like to turn it over to the group now. We've got about seven minutes left. Um, if I went over things too fast, I can go back and drill on them, but I would like to have kind of two questions answered. Uh, is this, was this presentation too deep? Was it not deep enough or, you know, do you want me to go deeper? And the next question is, is what's the next subject to cover? I've got a list of a hundred things I can talk about and I'll go in the next direction, but I'd love to hear from the group. So let's uh, let's hear from you guys. And Golson, you raised your hand. You're on mute, Golson. Do you want to? Hello. Can you hear us? Yes. Hello. Okay. Um, do you want to ask Golson? Okay. So we had a couple of questions. Uh, one, we wanted to know how Modic links up with social media specifically. Regarding to answer your question, uh, I would say that some of the coding stuff is a little more technical than uh, we normally like. You know, we like a kind of introduction of just the interface, more sort of like uh, yeah. that. But you did a really good job of explaining the benefits of Spotify. Um, but we're, yeah, we're very curious about how it links to social media. Sure. So over here on the settings side, they have what are called plugins. And these plugins um, are engaged by the company. So in other words, each one of these companies have an API. And it's not that difficult to do. So for example, if I come in here into my Instagram one, um, basically you go into, you know, you go to your Instagram account and you put slash developer at the end of your URL. And you'll get to the developer site, and then you have to describe what you're trying to do. And I basically says, look, I'm trying to do inbound marketing through Mardic, and that's totally fine. And when you do that, you have to give them the UR, this URL that's given to you by Mardic, which is, you know, my server plus where my um, social media integrations are kept. And this is a URL that Mardic gave me. And when I put that in, Instagram gives me back a client ID and a secret so that it's unique to me and once that's done I've got a handshake and contacts that are on my Twitter account um, that hit anything on my Twitter um, pages will be captured in Modic <clears throat> and I can map what pieces of information I would like <clears throat> to capture and basically I'm just looking for first name and website okay and then the other ones are like go to meeting, go to trial, uh, go to training, excuse me, um, webinars, LinkedIn, MailChimp, um, Outlook, and um, Twitter. So um, I hope that answered your question. Um, yes, I think it did. Great. Any other questions? Hi, Bob. This is uh, John. Um, I'm interested in uh, learning more about your email campaign. When you send these emails out, do you get a report how many emails were open, bounced, you know, yes. um, information like that? Yes, I do. So back here on the dashboard, um, so these are how many emails were sent. And right here so here's how many emails were um, ignored and how many emails were opened so right now I'm getting about a 10% email read right does that make sense yeah and so it does in fact capture it it also has this chart up here 
Uh, and I find that very, very helpful because, you know, you, you're constantly wanting to move in this inbound marketing um, role and this outbound marketing role. You want to you want to create things that are highly effective and you don't know that till you start metricing them. So what, what's interesting is I put up a video on LinkedIn about maybe three weeks ago um, that I recorded two years ago called Why Archivus, right? And I just kind of said, look, it's the most flexible application fastest to deploy that I've ever seen. And I didn't think it was that good of a video. I just kind of put it up there. Uh, by far, it's my biggest hit. I've had like over 1,400 people view that video. Most of my uh, LinkedIn posts are right around 300, 400, maybe 800. But uh, that one single video with the two yeah. words, why Archibus, was by far the best one. I would have never known that without fishing it, right, without pushing it out there. Uh, the other one that hit really hard was my green energy one, and it was written by one of my employees. He did a blog for me about energy management that he uh, had deployed at one of my clients. It was very well written, and it had over a 1,000 hits as well in a very short time frame. Um, and so I'm putting on stuff that I think is going to be important, and it's getting, you know, normal. Um, so you want to track it so you can be able to find and keep honing in the messages that drive information to your to your website. All right, any other questions? Uh, this is um, Jane Bullock. I just want to say thank you. Um, this is very helpful. Um, my question really is how much time do you spend doing this? Because um, it looks, to me right now, it looks very um, detailed, and I'm going to need to go back and study it a little bit more. But how much time do you spend um, trying yeah. to, you know, get, get to some of these things. Um, and then the second thing, I, uh, just to answer your question, is that I thought it was um, just the right amount of information. Um, I'm glad it's recorded so I can go back because it was a lot of stuff to, um, yep. you know, to keep up with um, during, during you know, in just this time. Sure. So to answer your question, I spend as little as an hour a week and as much as 30 hours a week, but my average is probably 7 to 10. Um, and that's simply because I, Bob Steven, have chosen to take on sales and marketing about a year ago. And um, uh, that it, it is not for the faint of heart. Uh, and the reason why I'm putting in that time is that I have watched, so to be very transparent with everybody, uh, I ran into a challenge with my company about three or four years ago, and I lost uh, some major clients and really went downhill in, in revenue-wise. Uh, made the adjustments in the company. This year, we've pulled it up. We're up 20% this year. And uh, part of it was I, I, I changed out sales guys. I took over sales and marketing. I uh, started to get the message back up again. But what I found was is that uh, the good old doing demos and calling people was okay, but I was getting more competition from FM Systems and Plan On and Tririga than I usually had. I, I usually could win easier than, than I was. And what I'm finding is, is that the millennials and the new generation are doing a lot of online research before they even ask for a demo. And I also found that in the IWMS industry, Archibus is ex was extremely lacking in internet content couldn't find it. I could find a ton on and, and Centerstone. I could find a ton on Tririga. Uh, and I could get Archivist simply because I, I knew the Archivist community, but I had to put in keywords and find those things. And so I, to kind of turn around my, my company, I, I invested 10 hours a week, 7 to 10 hours a week. And so it's not for the faint of heart. Um, so I know that may not be what you guys want to hear in your very, very busy schedules. Uh, but for me, I had to do it to kind of turn the company around. Any other questions? Thank you. You bet. Anytime. Um, guys, I'm available. You can contact me directly if you if you um, need um, help with this. I can tell you that Michelle Ray has already installed Modic. She used the free cloud uh, version, and she's very pleased with it. She sent me an email the other day saying, Bob, this has got given me more information than Google Analytics or any of my other tools has ever done. And I, and I say that, that that's kind of the case as well. Um, 
And Jane, to kind of add to your answer to your question, is that um, once you get this started, uh, it kind of, my 10 hours kind of turns into something like 100 hours a week. So, for example, literally 420 emails went out with a single push of a button. I staged it for an hour after I had, had set it up, and those emails went out. I know they went out. I saw that they went out. They're here. I'm getting responses back already. Um, so while I was sitting here eating dinner with my family, those eight, 420 emails went out. Uh, and in the campaigns, I have a campaign that every other day a new email goes out. So I spent maybe three hours setting up this campaign, and I now have something like 60 emails that are going to go out over the next 120 days. Automatic. I'm not doing anything. It's just automatically shooting them out. The setup was, was the time. Yeah. It's impressive. Thank you. Um, uh, what would you guys like to see next? Um, all right. So that, that might be a, a tough question to answer. Um, I, you know what, I'm going to come up with the next session. Um, if you don't have any passionate things to talk about uh, or want to see, um, and then we'll go from there. Um, again, I would not have gone into Modic. This was your request. I think this is very deep. Uh, I would talk about where I want, where I would like to see this group go, the Archibus community, is I would like you to take the materials that you already have, you know, RFPs you responded to, questions you've answered, uh, marketing materials you've got about Archibus, or take Archibus as marketing materials and get them on social media. That's very simple. You can do that in a half an hour a week and just start to get your information up there. Okay, if there's not any other questions, I'll wait for just a couple seconds. I'm going to go ahead and end this. Any questions? I just want to say thank you again, Thank, uh, especially for taking the time to, to do this. Not a problem. Um, again, let's go, let's go grow the Archivist community. Yep. All right, thanks, guys. Take care. Have a good